Welcome to this video tutorial in which we're going to explain how this key package works for cardboard. First of all, go to the GVR main and you will see that we are using a box collider with a rigid body and um, it contains these keys. So it's just um, a rigid body which has this key movement which is enabled, uh, disabled for a moment because uh, when we start the game, we have a trigger to start and that is uh, managed by this start script okay and uh, it will uh, enable this, this script and the play will, will start moving you have the speed and the lateral speed okay and then it refers to the head transform that is this one here regarding the terrain, the terrain is composed by uh, several modular pieces uh, the smaller of, of it is this one here or this one as you can see so you can make your uh, track bigger or or smaller if you want we're going to do it bigger so you can see how it works so I'm going to copy the base um, base 9 okay I'm going to place it again and you just go ahead and you take the 8 and the 9 and you pull it like this and then you will have a bigger track okay if you want to center the pieces correctly you can go ahead and select the the different terrains so for example here we have to select the 9 and 10 uh, the 9 and the 8 sorry and you can go ahead and put them outside and you can see that you must put them on uh, exact value so this is done and you place them again inside the terrain so that's, that is done so you can see um, if you want to increase the amount of fences you do similarly you can go ahead or you can go to the um, to our assets um, folder in the prefabs and you have the blue fence and the red fence and you can go ahead and add a red fence there if you want okay or you can go ahead and and copy the fence that it's already uh, done for example here we have uh, red fence you can copy this inside the best terrain that you want that in my case is this one here okay and you can add the red fence in the same position so you copy the distance C set and you put it there so this is how you can make your track longer or shorter if you want okay all of those are prefab objects that you can use in your game then we have the start canvas that uh, it's just this trigger to start thing that has the start script so whenever we hit the trigger the GVR main uh, skip movement is going to transform to enable and we're going to move so that that is what the start canvas does then we have the scoring the scoring is just two canvases from one of the of the cameras and it's going to manage the scoring whenever we get to um, a fence so this is all regarding the main structure the main hierarchy if we go inside of a fence for example this one here you will see that we have a collider okay we have this collider here so whenever the player moves and enters this collider is going to score and this number is going to increase in one okay so all of the fences have those colliders positioned in the proper way okay and finally uh, the game ends when we get to the the last finish okay here in the finish and we enter this space here the game will end so let's just make a short and quick demo of how the, the game works and going to explain 
uh, at the same time what what um, things are happening okay so um, let's wait for it so whenever you start remember you have to roll your head like this not like this you have your skis you have the trigger to start menu and whenever we start this trigger we can go ahead and start playing your game so you can score if you get past a fence like that but if you are not able to get to the fence you're not going to score as you can see okay so now we're going to score three four etc then we have this effect that is falling okay if if you are outside track and you have to prevent that of course in your game you have to prevent falling and that's more more or less it so i'm going to show you how the game ends so i'm now trying to score as much as possible skiing across the this track here you can see at the end the finish um, the finish part okay this is the eight and nine and finally we get it to the finish and here the game ends okay as you can see so this is how it works um, Let's explain the ski movement script just a minute, and that will be all regarding this tutorial. The ski movement script, um, as you can see here, is just going to use the rigid body of the of the object, and is going to create a a moving position. Okay, it's going to to move the rigid body to the left or the right accordingly to the rotation of your head and this is done by obtaining the Euler angles of your head and choosing the Z direction and transforming that value into a linear value okay let's see ski movement and here you can see it we get the angle in this line and then what we are doing is moving our um, game object which is the head with the cardboard to this new position that will be in the front okay and then we'll move sideways uh, a value of set angle uh, rotation okay that is obtained here multiplied by the lateral speed so this is all so thanks for watching. Regard, uh, remember that we are a group of students passionate about VR. They want to share our ideas with the world, and in this case, we are sharing our ideas for a ski game. So uh, thanks again for watching.